Okay, before we get into the nitty gritty details of what SketchUp can do, let's just try it out. Let's just get a feeling for the program and play around with it. So we can build something now very, very quickly. We're using the rectangle tool on the left side. This is the, this is your toolbox and we get the rectangle and then we click once for opening the rectangle and we cl click twice for closing it. You never hold it. You always click once and click a second time to close it. So now we have this 2D object, which is just like a, a very big sheet of paper. But you can very quickly get something into the third dimension by using this tool here, the push and pull tool. So you take it and you see once you hover over the plane, uh, it is marked with those blue dots and you click on it once and then you can pull your face and you can also you can push it down below the ground but we are just building something like this a ground floor so to speak now we can take more rectangles and put them on the on the face here and this is what we're going to do we're going to make those kind of frames here just to see how quickly we can build something in 3D with SketchUp. Now, once again, back to the push and pull tool. And just as an exercise, we are pulling those rectangles from the ground and where I'm pushing them a little bit further down because they're a little bit too high for my taste. And I'm building something like a, like a staircase but just to get the feeling. So you click once and you push them down. Now we can also go to any other face that we want to pull like this one and we pull it out or we push the other ones in to get them on the same level. Now you see that SketchUp always goes to reference points. So it already recognizes, aha, uh -huh, okay, I've got this uh, edge here. So I'm going to go exactly below the edge and you click there and then everything is in one straight line. Now we have built this kind of staircase here. We can take the rectangle once more and we can also push something through the ground. I'm taking the push and pull tool once again and I'm going over the new rectangle and you see that I can push something away. Now I can push it all the way down and this is what I'm doing. I'm creating this, this kind of basement here. Let's get, a, let's get the rectangle tool once again. And now we're going on the edge here and we're drawing this rectangle on the face. And once again, with the push pull tool, we are extruding it. And now we have some kind of a a swimming pool with a diving board and let's let's go ahead with this idea and really visualize this in a very very quick way so let's put some colors on there on the right side here there's a panel with materials so we go to the materials we have all the colors that are being used now those are the colors that are on the on the figure here but if you want to see all the colors and all the materials, you go to browse and then we select some colors here from the color panel. Now, select whatever you want. I'm choosing those, yeah, those yellow colors here. This is just a very quick exercise to get a feeling for how to use colors and materials and maybe some green for the the grass there and now if this is a swimming pool this has to be water of course let's see if we've got some water yes there is a water panel and we have this transparent water and now i'm applying it to this surface here and transparent water means that now we can see into this pool we can see everything down there and this is how you can quickly visualize something with sketchup now the cool thing also is that you may not have the rendering 
options like other programs offer you, but you have those styles here on the right side, also in this panel. You can choose a style that really fits you. So let's let's make it let's use one of those assorted styles to make it look like it's it's drawn by hand. Now this is a very rough style. I personally I like this style a lot. So now we've got it says scribble on masonite. So this this looks like something that was hand drawn on a natural surface, and it has those very nice. Uh, hand drawn lines here. So now you can actually make something look like you've drawn it by hand. You can visualize something really, really quickly. And this is the big advantage of SketchUp. So, first of all, it's a very intuitive program. Everything is directly in 3D, which means you do not have to rethink everything from 2D in 3D and translate it in your mind or or have another step to get it from 2D into 3D, but everything is directly in the third dimension. So I hope you get a little taste now for what SketchUp can do. It can be very, very quick. It can be, you can do something without any measurements. You can just try out stuff. You can visualize stuff very, very quickly, but you can also do something very precise. You can do something, of course, exactly to how you picture it or how a customer wants it. And this, all without a complicated user interface. So this is all what you've got in SketchUp. It's very, very easy and intuitive to learn. And let's go into the basics now.